Dennis is definitely the best golfer. Yeah, He's yeah. like legit. That's the re- that's the only reason Dennis did the movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was actually a baseball but movie. Then I found <laughs> out, like making a golf movie, you don't really get to play much golf. Yeah. You really don't. I had learned a thing about it. Grew up in Texas and. Uh, what a story. I mean, this, the reason I do movies is because of the story, and I didn't believe it. Something like this rarely comes along, and it was the perfect time to make it. Just to, I, I hadn't heard anything about the story, didn't know anything about it. Um, Julio brought it, you know, you guys, you and Javier brought it to my attention, and uh, yeah, it's just a fascinating story, and, and uh, those kind of things are, are often overlooked in Hollywood, you know, sp- stories that specifically deal with Latino sort of history, and, and you know, uh, sort of like benchmarks in um, our kind of American experience. So I thought it was an important story to tell. Same. I read the book uh, by the author, Humberto Garcia, and I fell in love with the story. I also learned a little golf yes, in did. the process. Yeah, and thanks, nice to, thanks to Dennis, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I hadn't heard of the story either. Um, I didn't realize it was based off a novel until after, the, you know, I read the script. And then once... I read the novel, you know, I read it was, it was such a great story. It's a little bit different from the actual script, but um, but yeah, I'm very happy to be a part of it for sure. Uh, this actually isn't a true story. I don't know why you guys keep saying that. <laughs> uh, no, when I heard it, I was, I was really amazed because, uh, you know, I also grew up in Texas and these kinds of stories, I, I feel like it, it shows me that there's probably a lot more like these that we're not talking about and, and little touchstones that have happened through history that have kind of paved the way to, to where we are today. And, and so I think it's just super important to bring these to light and, and try to highlight all, all the work that everybody did ahead of us, you know? No. Dennis is definitely the best golfer. Yeah. He's like legit. You know, he plays a golf pro on uh, on the on the in the movie, but he's also he he was kind of the golf pro for the entire film, <laughs> helping everybody with their swing and yeah, just bringing that authenticity. Day, so, yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the only reason Dennis did the movie. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was actually a baseball well, movie, but we changed it. Making a golf movie, you don't really get to play much golf. Yeah. You really don't. Yeah, and how about how about Cheech Marin? Oh, yeah. I mean, he really made it. Yeah, yeah. He really did. He made so the movie. Good. I mean, it was kind of like, in a way, the heart and soul of yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was. He came in like what three days? Yeah. And uh, he just boom, boom, boom. And also, you know, he's also in one of the great other golf movies made so he really came in the second, second best, best golf movie. <laughs> yeah. 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 Really like the mentor. really great service yeah yeah no it was great i mean uh, obviously cheech i mean and then getting to work with jana jay dennis for me was obviously uh, an experience that i'll you know remember forever for sure cheech coming in uh you know the, the first day he got there it was very sort of last minute and rushed, um, but he came to save the day. But we were uh, running lines, going like sitting in the tra- in, in the trailer, and for for about two hours, I feel like I, I sat there and I, I just quite grilled him about his life story, and it was pretty amazing how sort of open and effusive he was. I mean, the guy's like a legend. I've been watching this guy forever. I bought so, the first albums. Yeah, you see, he talked <laughs> about that whole John, thing, the, record, the whole yeah. records thing, and, right. and their story kind of came off a that's comedy they, bit. That's how they came on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Creed just came out. It's new for me. Uh, I mean, I, I I really liked Creed. Um, there's also uh, I mean, I don't know if you consider like Karate Kid as a sports you know, movie, but it's along those lines of an underdog kind of thing. The rookie is the rookie. Yeah, the rookie. <laughs> the rookie. <laughs> the rookie. Well, yeah. This, this the thing is, you know, the, in the rookie, I was the coach. He was my student athlete. That that's uh, come full circle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was playing cool. kind of the troubled guy. I was playing uh, yeah, Julian's yeah, character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> essentially in that film, it's pretty great, pretty great. And and Austin, you know, shot here. Yeah, long time Austin. ago, first time. Yeah. What was the one with Sandra Bullock? The football one. Blindside. 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 That, that was a good. good. One. Yeah. Was great. Yeah, yeah. One I mean, not to do my own horn, but you know, Friday Night Lights. Texas, oh yeah, Friday Night Austin, Lights. Yeah, of course. Football. Yeah, yeah. You killed it. That that was, yeah, that's know, yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's actually yeah. like objectively no, a great movie. Yeah, I no, love that movie. No, it is. It really is. I haven't seen it forever, but natural. <laughs> <laughs> Just the fact that uh, metaphorically with golf and life, uh, 
whatever you know life takes you as long as you have some sort of aim of, or direction of where you want to go uh it doesn't matter where your ball lands you're kind of always hitting or striving to aim for that for that pin you know for that hole and, and in life you know wherever life life takes you if you're trying to achieve something and things don't go your way as long as you keep aiming for what you want the goal is to get where you want to be so right and to add on to that like just the fact that it's an american story but it's also a culturally specific Latino story where we get to celebrate and highlight our community, which I'm, I'm all about it. Yeah. I think I think it's great to see. I mean, they were like young, old. There's so many, you know, sort of age ranges at the at the mm-hmm. premiere and everybody really. I mean, I don't know if anybody was sitting there, but they, they loved the, the film. Mm-hmm. And to see, you know, the way it sort of inspires people of all ages, it's pretty great. Yeah, it's, it's a yeah, wonderful story. I, you know, it's about all of us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It really is. The time and place where it takes place really gives it a lot of gravity. It makes you kind of like, wow, where were we? Mm-hmm. You know, and it's very authentic in that way. But in the end, you know, the movie is meant, I would like people to be really entertained because it was really funny. It was, fun. yeah. it, was fun. it was funny in a very kind of yeah. natural way. Yeah. Lots of peaks and valleys yeah. and, you know. I don't like, know. Everybody kept laughing and I don't know yeah. why. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was really unsettling. <laughs> At all the wrong moments. All the wrong times. At all the wrong times. I totally got that wrong.